Shogun Tsianato is a carapacion introduced in Most Hunter Dos. He is one of three crabs introduced, with one being Daimyo Hermito and the other being the Shengaoren. Shogun wears a Gravio skull on his back and has two sharp pincers he uses as blades. Before we proceed, a special thanks to my patrons on Patreon for making this video possible. Like Daimyo, Shogun likes to move in unorthodox directions and attack with his claws. He can strike in front of him, he can strafe to the side while swiping a claw, he can hug the space in front of him and spin around, swiping as he moves. When enraged, his claws extend, lengthening their range as he becomes more aggressive. Dodging becomes harder as a result of this, and he can also rush forwards. Shogun will sometimes dig underground, staying there for a period of time before resurfacing, trying to ambush anyone who walks above him. He can also cling onto ceilings and land on people below. Shogun Tsianator uses the Gravios skull to fire lasers. While Gravioses were made of fire, Shoguns are made from… liquid. Anyway, if you deal enough damage to the skull, you break it completely, resulting in- Put it back! Put it back! Why does it have physics? Why is it- Wait, that would mean the liquid that he shoots is actually- Ah! Hitting this thing will cause Shogun to take extra damage. He can only have two shells per hunt, so once he's broken them he won't be able to get any more. Shogun can have a different shell from an unknown monster, and this one doesn't let him fire an undisclosed liquid. If you break his claws, he will be enraged for the remainder of the hunt. Freedom Unite introduced the Terra Shogun Sianator, a bronze coloured Shogun with a black Gravios skull. Unlike the standard Shogun, this is the only shell he'll have. Terra has slightly larger claws and can be more aggressive, but the biggest difference is that he can use the water laser pretty much whenever he wants, whereas Shogun could only use it on ceilings. Terra's shell is also much harder to break. Also, this is his only game ever. He was introduced in Freedom Unite, but he never returns to any other game. Shogun, on the other hand, finally returned for generations. In this game, his moveset has been refined with smoother animations. Breaking his claws will no longer cause him to be permanently enraged. That being said, his claws can now cause bleeding, and it's practically guaranteed with certain enraged attacks. In addition to this, when digging underground, he will now try to repeatedly attack from below, rather than just stay there like in the older games. His hug attack is often delayed, and he can move around in semicircles like the plum daimyo Hermitor. In Generations Ultimate, aside from being faster, he receives one of his most infamous additions. He grinds his claws together and leaps forward, slamming them down. This attack has amazing accuracy, is quick to initiate, and will always cause bleeding. Shogun Sianator was one of two older monsters in Generations Ultimate to get a deviant, the Rust Razor Sianator. Rust Razor looks like a standard Shogun, but his claws are rusty and your weapons will bounce off them. During combat, Rust Razor has access to all of Shogun's attacks, but he will also move around with his back facing to you. This is because like Terra Shogun, he can freely use Gravios' skull to direct lasers. He can fire them straight, sweep them around or up and down in a quick homing blast. After some time he will dig into the ground, although not to ambush you. No, instead he comes out wearing the skull of a Glavinus. He will sharpen his claws using the skull when enraged, causing them to become softer, but much more dangerous. Rust Razor has access to new claw attacks, such as rapidly striking the ground in twos or fours. Like Glavinus, Rust Razor can hold his blade in his, or in this case the skull's jaws, and let loose with a spin attack, which not only causes bleeding, but defense down. After some time, he will switch back to a Gravios Skull. Like Terra Shogun, Rust Razor appeared in one game and so far has not appeared again. Shogun Tsianator returned for Must Hunter Rise Sunbreak, with quite a few changes. He can still hug like in Generations, but the classic walk attack has been changed to a run, where he combos into a hug. He still has his other attacks from the older games, such as the Claw Slam, as well as the ability to inflict bleed. Shogun borrows a few attacks from Rust Razor too. He can fire the, uh, the the water laser from the Gravios skull and aim it around, as well as perform his rapid stabs, although only two and not four. Shogun can also stab behind with his claw and swing his body around. Unlike the older games, breaking his skull twice will not stop him from getting a new one. I don't find games like Most Hunter Freedom Unite particularly hard. Yes, there's a barrier of entry, 
but once you get used to the more limited combat, you'll find certain monsters are really basic compared to their later forms. Some monsters however are even harder, and Shogun Xianato is one of them. His movement style can be tricky to deal with, but once he becomes enraged, things get really tough. The rage on his claws means getting away to heal can be really hard. My first Shogun Xianato fight was in Generations, and I had a similar experience. He's a great monster, and few others fight like him. I like the new claw slam attack Generations Ultimate gave him. Shogun was a good monster, but it felt like he was lacking that one strong, somewhat iconic attack that a lot of monsters have. This one is tough to deal with and heavily punishing, but it leaves him wide open if you learn the timing. A very well designed move. Rust Razor Sienator is one of two deviants where I feel like they should accompany the main monster in every game it appears in. Seriously, this one is really good. The way he uses Gravios lasers before switching to Glavina strikes keeps the fight dynamic and fresh, essentially giving you two movesets to deal with. They did good in Sunbreak by giving Shogun a bit of both of their attacks, but I would have loved to see the Deviant return. Which Shogun Sienator is your favourite? Do you like him better than Daimyo Hermitor? Let me know in the comments. Once again, special thanks to my patrons for making this video possible. If you donate, you can get early access to videos in advance, as well as get credited at the end of videos. Remember to like and subscribe, and have a good day.